Pinellas County couple is thankful to be alive tonight after they were trapped in a sinking car. The man and his wife shared their story with our Serena Fazan. And Serena, they described a terrifying scene, I'm sure. Oh, gosh, Linda, they sure did. Ruth and Joe Sh Sh Seshelman, I'm sorry, I can't get their name out, were out for an afternoon drive. They were enjoying looking at the boats in the water when all of a sudden they found themselves in the Dunedin City Marina. 89-year-old Joe Schleselman is able to wear his prosthetic leg. He nearly lost it and his life after his car plunged into the Dunedin City Marina. His 86-year-old wife, Ruth, was with him. <laughs> no time to get scared. His prosthetic leg was on the side. Joe takes it off to drive and was using his right foot. And I went to push the brake for a dead stop, and it slipped off and went on the gas pedal. And that's what pushed us over into the water. Their grand marquee seen here went over parking barriers, over the seawall, and into an unoccupied boat slip. It quickly started to sink. They were trapped. The water was gushing in. I kept saying, save us, save us. Three men heard Ruth's pleas. Yeah, just good quick thinking, got everything done right. Eric Coram jumped in. So did Joe Centilac. His feet and hands were cut up pretty badly by glass. Another man broke the window with a fire extinguisher. He was able to hand me, uh, you know, push the guy up to where I could get a hold of him, and I took him out the back window, the, the husband and wife, you know. And although Joe had this close brush with death, he wouldn't think of giving up his license. Well, sir, no, I'm going to drive. Why shouldn't I? Ruth is confident her husband can get behind the wheel again. She doesn't believe their age had anything to do with this. It was just an accident. An accident they survived thanks to three men who were enjoying the water just like they had hoped to do. We don't know how we can ever repay them. They are such an adorable couple. Ruth and Joe, though, were taken to the hospital because their hearts were beating so fast, paramedics thought they should be checked out. They did have a chance to thank Joe and Eric, but the third man with the fire extinguisher, like any other ordinary day, he stuck to his plan and went on a fishing trip.